Batman Boys in a Room with a Mic. From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G Roll, and Player Two, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. There we go. Damn it. I don't know why it... I, I gotta fix that. For some reason, it has a second of lag. Like, literally, it's, it's a full-on second of lag from me hitting record to... Uh-huh. Me, like, to actually recording. So, uh... Hi, everybody out there in the internet. It's been a, it's, it's been a while. It's been a, Yeah. Uh, we missed last week because... I was sick as fuck. It felt like a month. To it feels like time. forever. Whenever we miss an episode, it's like, fuck. Even, like, it's a week, but it feels like forever. Ever. Like, it really does feel forever. This is actually like two weeks because from the last show. Yeah. To this, by the time he gets just, uploaded. Yeah, it's, it's just... Um, yeah, I, uh, I got really, really sick and I couldn't record last weekend. Last weekend was also your birthday weekend. Yeah. As well as Chubb Digit's birthday weekend. Yeah. And I was so sick I couldn't even go and celebrate those. Yeah. Well, we, I didn't celebrate much. I don't no. know about I, I know I know Michael had had a barbecue that was ribs involved. In oh, was it? Okay. And then uh, he asked me to go do his podcast with him, but I was too tired. I, yeah, I was. I had to work on my birthday. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yep, that's part of being an adult. Yep. Working on your birthday. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I always I always take my day off. Someone give us money so we don't have to work anymore. Yes, please. That'd be beautiful. Party <laughs> over it. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I just got out of the hospital, so. Yeah, if I if I sound funny at all, something about the meds that I'm on, the antibiotics they gave me, my tongue is like um. Uh, what? Happened? This thing just started shaking randomly. Did yeah, you see this? Started thing? shaking randomly. No, was, yeah, she was she was just like she was dancing like that, like she was shaking like randomly. I didn't do anything. That's weird. It's fucking scary. It's just scary. <laughs> That's <is> creepy. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Uh, goddamn fish tank was way too goddamn loud. I don't think I said goddamn enough in that sentence. That goddamn <laughs> fish goddamn tank. Yes. I gotta, I gotta start saying, I gotta stop saying goddamn. I'm gonna start saying a pox on it. A pox? A pox on it. Like a pox, like a sickness. Okay. Because uh, I've been listening to the, or I've been reading the uh, Witcher books. Mm-hmm. And anytime they occur, they don't, they don't, no one says goddamn it. They always say, a pox on it. <laughs> a pox on it. A pox on ya! I can't remember if they say that in the game, though. They probably do. They speak uh, all the time. Maybe I just never noticed. Never noticed it. They might not say it. They, well, they don't say it a lot, but there's times where it's like, in that in that one, cause, because it's a book, they go back to, it's like a bunch of random people talking that right. aren't, you know what I mean? So, like, like before Geralt even shows up in the area, it's just, these are the villagers talking, or these are the, this is the bar and all the people talking in the bar. And, a pox on ya, you cheater! You know, shit like yeah. that. Oh, a pox on this, and a pox on that, and a pox on the bleeding lords, and this, you know. So, a pox on everything. <laughs> um, so, I got some stories. Uh, the No Man's Sky creator, yeah, I guess he was doing an interview recently, and uh, he, was still, he was at IGN, and he was talking about uh, VR. Yeah. And he was saying he would like to do No Man's Sky with VR. No Man's Sky would be a really good game for VR. Yeah, I think it would be. Um, in theory, at least. In theory, yeah. And so it, it would be it would be cool. He's saying it would make a good fit. And it seems like he's working on it that way. So it has, it, 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 you know. Because it's, it's a first-person shooter. I mean, and the way you move around in the game. You yeah, I, mean? it seems I, think, kinda... I think it would make a really good fit for VR. He's already sold on it and sees it as an amazing opportunity. But uh, he's yeah. he, he's like everybody else. VR needs to find its killer app. Like it's it's one thing, so it doesn't seem gimmicky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because all because VR doesn't have any any like games that. Yeah, there's nothing. I I've been I've been playing a couple. Uh, okay, I got I got a chance right before right before I. I got sick. I got my chance to get my hands on a uh, Oculus Rift. Like a lot, a lot of the games I see are like roller coaster simulators. 
No, I mean, that, that's because that's what that's everyone's go to VR. It's like, oh, experience something that you know you can experience at home, but you're not, or yeah. Which I get, but so if you're not doing anything, like it needs yeah. to, it needs to be a game where you're doing something. Yeah. Those those types of simulators are just sit here and watch the show. Yeah. Even the uh, what what's, you, what's the other you one? You can look around. Oh, you can look around. Yeah. <laughs> and the, yeah, and that's cool to a point. Like I was watch, I was messing with that uh, Oculus, the the VR one for the the, the Oculus for the Samsung. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, I was watching this video. It was a uh, Mythbusters. They were in the water. They were in the ocean and looking at. Sh- I don't know why Mythbusters were involved. I don't. I, I didn't see the whole video. Mm-hmm. But like you're in the ocean, and you're looking around at sharks. And, like there's a shark right here, and you can follow it around and swim. You can look behind you. You can look down. Like you could look at shit in the video, which was cool. Yeah. And there was other videos that like when you're watching the video, so it was like okay, you put the headset on. Say you want to watch a video that's not already on your phone. Mm-hmm. So what it does is, is you throw this video on, and oh, okay, there's a there's a screen in front of you, right? Mm-hmm. You look to the, you look to your left, and oh shit, I'm on the moon. So now I'm not watching the video anymore. I'm looking at the environment that I'm in, <laughs> you know? Because like the video doesn't follow your eyes. So when you look behind you or you look down, like when you look down, you see your chair. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you yeah, look up, then they're okay. You're not paying attention to what's happening. Yeah, you're not watching kid. the video. Yeah. Ooh-ooh. And it's like okay, and then there was like one, what the one that really bugged me because it seemed like a small, like the screen, the screen seemed pretty big, like it seems bigger than like you're watching it on your phone. Mm-hmm. But the one thing that bugged me, there was one, is like they call it's called ant theater, and what it is is literally, like you're the size of an ant and you're watching a phone that's leaned up against a coke can. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like okay, yeah, but it's yeah, it doesn't look that big now because like I know it's the size of a phone and in my head. That screen's only the size of my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That one, that one bugged me. Um, oh, Battlefield Five got announced. Uh-huh. It's, what's it uh, called? it's called Battlefield One. Yeah. Which is confusing. Yeah, that's weird. And well, I, I asked somebody who likes Battlefield, so I'm like, so is this the first Battlefield, like a is... reboot or a remaster or something? He's like, no, it's its own game. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's battle. It's the new game. Like, well, then why'd they call it Battlefield 1 when there's four other battlefields? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, is it just the first one? They just want to set things. Let's see here. Uh... Okay, something about Melee. I just, I just want to see. Because I didn't see much about it. I just saw that it was announced. I just want to see the time frame. The time period. Yeah. I think I want to... I didn't see anything about it, but I want to say it's like that. Uh, it's what everyone has speculated it to be. The, yeah, uh, World War One. Yeah, yeah it, it is World War One. Uh, so this one, they're saying they're going to make all the all the all the stuff feel different, like the tanks, and they're not going to have a lot. It's just, everything's going to feel different because at, at, at that time, everything literally yeah. did feel. Well, uh, yeah, World War One will be dope for battlefield just because there's not going to be any helicopters and yeah. that stuff. I think we I think we talked about that before. And I, and I, think... I feel I feel and like when you when you play Battlefield like that's that's all it is like if you find if you have a person who's good at flying a jet or a helicopter you're gonna win the game. Yeah. Because they know what they're doing and they can. It's yeah. like I've been I've been just rolled over the, the times that I've played Battlefield uh-huh. by someone in a helicopter and I try and get in that thing and I cannot fly that thing like and in, even into the fucking. <laughs> Where people actually are, like I'm out in yeah, the you fucking can even come outskirts. Concerts. Oh wow! Oh, you know what's funny? What was I? What was I watching? I was watching a video. It was like you know those highlight videos. Uh, Kotaku does these highlights uh-huh. of the week videos. There was one. It was like the title. The, the title of the highlight was uh, playing. Oh, I forget what game it was now. I think it it, it had to be Battlefield because there was a plane in it. Mm-hmm. But it was like playing playing Battlefield on a on a Japanese server. And it's a bunch of dudes. It's a bunch of dudes in an area shooting, and all of a sudden a plane just comes in, and just crack, <laughs> and just smashes into all of them. <laughs> so I thought that shit was funny. Uh, oh yeah, so this was the other big, uh, the big two <laughs> uh, combat games: Call of Duty, right. um, Infinite Warfare. Yeah. It's gonna come with. If remake. you buy, yeah, if you buy the Legacy Edition, which is eighty dollars, yeah, uh, you will get uh, the. Is there? A, it's a remaster. Call of Duty Four Remaster, and it actually looks amazing from the shots that people have been getting, finding, and leaking. Yeah, so I mean, for, yeah, from what I've seen, it looks cool. I mean, it, it 
I think that's definitely worth an eighty dollar price tag. Yeah. And I if, wonder, any, if anything, I'll buy that. Keep just, keep Modern Warfare and then sell Infinite Warfare. Right. Because <laughs> so far, it was, we've only seen the campaign trailer, and I don't I don't really like I, it. I, yeah, I'm not but impressed. It... If they somehow just amaze me with a multiplayer trailer, I might. I might uh, actually end up buying it, even though I said Black Ops 3 would be my last one. Now, my question to this, though, is uh, do you think... Or might keep it. Do you think uh, they're going to bring back the multiplayer to Modern Warfare? Or do you think it's just going to be... Yeah, yeah. They said it's going to oh, be, so it's it's gonna be, be a... the full campaign and 10 maps. The, the 10 original maps. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. That's actually really, really cool. I, I, I See, I haven't heard... Again, I've been in the hospital, so I'm, I'm kind of learning a lot of this stuff as I go. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'm okay. So yeah, I I definitely think that's worth the eighty dollar price tag because you know tons of people gonna be playing that fucking yeah. Modern Warfare because people so many people love that. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I think still they're... considered the best Call of Duty. Yeah, it really is. It it, it, it is one of the best. People say Modern Warfare. It's either doubt. Whenever you ask someone, they either say Modern Warfare mm-hmm. uh, or Black Ops Two. I feel like. Yeah. I think Black Ops was better, but I I, I, no, I, I like Black Ops Two a lot way better. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Wait, which one was the one with the boat? Called the Black Ops Two. Okay, the Black Ops Two. That's okay. You're right. Yeah. The Black Ops One had the okay. No, I I, I like the, the firing boat. range. Yeah, the firing range was one of my favorite maps on Black Ops One. But then they brought it back in Black Ops Two, so I was like. <laughs> so weird. Black Ops Two is way better. <laughs> Uh, I just didn't like the way they did it in Black Ops 2 where they made it a movie studio instead. Yeah. That kind of was like, that was weird. Because it was too distracting. Like, you're trying to play the map and all this shit is just popping up around you. A lot of map, a lot of the DLC maps are like that now. Like, yeah. Like, right now there's a... Oh, man, what are, what are there? Last DLC pack, or it's like, it's like a water park. Uh-huh. And just, and there's just like a bunch of like squid, like little squids. Oh, just a bunch <laughs> of shit that pops around. That's like a weird. pirate ship yeah. going to the slip the slip the slides. I think I think sometimes those ridiculous maps are funny. They're they're fun to plan. Yeah. But a lot of the times it's like okay, well, like what kind of game? Am I playing a kids game here, or are they trying to parody some kind of kids game, or yeah. you know what I mean? Because like yeah, okay, I get it. It's funny. This ultra violence is going on in this funny area, which okay, it's good sometimes. But a lot of times it's like all right, let's go on to something. More serious, like that's this, this is supposed to be a serious game. This play something serious, you know. Yeah. Um. There was something about this. I was oh, I was gonna say at this point, I I really think they could probably re they could probably re-release Modern Warfare One, Modern Warfare Two. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, and probably Black Ops One and Two as remasters, and I think they would sell like crazy. I think, uh, well, um, there's there's something called uh, Call of Duty Online or something like that, uh-huh. and it was only it was only released in like Russia and Asia or some shit, uh-huh. and uh, it's every every online part of every Call of Duty up to like Modern Warfare Two or something. Yeah. Or Black Ops One, and then uh, I think I think they just got I think Europe just got it now. Oh shit! So okay. I think it's like spreading. It's out. starting to spread out. That'd be cool. Cause I mean, really, that's all you play. Yeah. Cause no one really plays the campaign anymore. Yeah. Like I guarantee you that if they went through all of the Black Ops games, cause like they they have access to like with the trophies and achievements now, they have access to see who's finished the game and who hasn't. I guarantee you, less than less than half of the people that play it. Yeah. Oh no, I'll I'll, I'll say maybe. I haven't finished a Call of Duty in the last like five years. I say sixty five percent of the people years. that play it. I'll say 65%. No more than 65% have actually finished a campaign in Call of Duty. Right. The last one I completed was Modern Warfare 3. Really? I think the last one I played... I, well, I, I finished Ghosts. But prior to that, I hadn't finished any of them. No, wait. I finished Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 and Ghosts. That was you, didn't, it. you didn't finish Black Ops? Oh, I, did I finish Black Ops? No. Oh, I finished the first Black Ops. I didn't finish the second one. The first Black Ops actually had a good story. So... Yeah. The second black black because the, the first one was like, what do the numbers mean? And what is this? So I was like, fuck. Okay, what do the numbers mean? God damn it, I gotta play it. Yeah. Black Ops Two was just like, eh, I don't give a fuck about this guy anymore. He's old. <laughs> and then the whole jumping back and forth, like if they would have kept it in one time period, I would have been cool with it. You know, yeah. but them jumping back and forth like that, I'm like, all right, I'm done. But really, you play it for the multiplayer. Like. Yeah. 
If, that's if, that's if, it's bread and butter. If they got rid of all this, the single player, just refined and dedicated themselves to multiplayer, mm. I think those the game would be, the game would be better because yeah. then they wouldn't be focused. They wouldn't have like space being. They wouldn't have like features being taken away just because they have to have a campaign. Exactly. Exactly. They could have like a full fully fledged online game. Yeah. And I think that I think because like again, yeah, I think at some point they should just they should just show. yeah give up on the single player. Yeah. Okay, so I, I I forgot we wanted to start on this, but uh, you went and saw Captain America. Yeah, Civil. Civil War. I have yet to see it. Uh-huh. I want to see it. So, and and right now it's still new, so giving as few spoilers as possible. Yeah. So, uh, giving as few spoilers as possible. It's an amazing movie. <laughs> like that's all I can say. <laughs> that's it. I can't say shit else. <laughs> Spider Man's amazing. Spider Man's part the best part, if not one of the best parts. And you said you said that that you can't see anyone else's Spider Man after him. I don't think I can. I, I can. Like, he ruins all of the Spider Man. Yeah, unless like, unless like someone else, some other like kid comes out of nowhere. Yeah. But like. They'll probably they'll probably at he, some sh- point. he shits on the other Spider Man. He shits on Tobey Maguire and. Uh, really and Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. And then. I don't know. I don't. I can't see any other actor right now being, being. Being him. Okay. You were saying that like he he's got the he's 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 got the wittiness to play yeah. like he actually. And the one thing I've heard, and you 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 kind of uh, said this is like he actually they actually play up his strength in this one now. He doesn't yeah. seem as weak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he actually he has he basically he basically has super strength. He could like a they showed like a like a viral video uh-huh. and. Uh, they threw like a truck at him and he just kind of like smacked it away. Nice. <laughs> and uh, he was like holding his own with like a like big at like Ant Man. He got he went up. Uh, yeah, huge. he was a giant. Yeah. And uh, he was able to like, hold his own with them with him. Nice, nice. Yeah, so, that, that's funny. one thing. I want to think... say something about that shit. What's up? I don't want to. About I, uh, about Ant Man and Spider Man. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Not yet anyway. <laughs> yeah. Give us give us at least a week because the movie just came out on Friday, right? Uh, yeah. So it just came out yesterday. Yeah. Wait, yeah, yesterday. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to go see it. Oh, shit. I'm yeah, I'm so actually I want to see it as fast as possible just because people at work were already talking about it. Oh, so, yeah. Luckily, they didn't spoil anything because I couldn't hear anything because okay. they were far away. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to go see it. I, I was going to say I'm going to go see it tonight, but I'm probably going to go see the fight tonight. That uh, Canelo Khan fight. Oh, Khan yeah. Yeah. That looks like it's going to be a hell of a fight. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go see it tomorrow night before I go back to work. Um, so uh, out of give it a rating, would you give would you what would you give it? Nine point five out of ten. Since when do we ever rate shit like that? On oh here? yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I think that would be six nachos. I think that would be six. Six, nachos. six nachos and one chocolate milk. Oh shit! Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty intense. That's pretty intense. For those that don't know, we have a six nacho rating system, and the top rating we give anything is two chocolate milks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's kind of an inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> but it works. But we're sticking with it. Yeah. Uh, so six nachos and a half and a chocolate milk. That's yeah. That's. So you would say it's the best out of all of them. That's what everyone's yeah, saying. Yeah, right now. It's the best out of all the Marvel movies so far. Definitely. I just had, I only have like one thing, and it was just like young Tony Stark. They had like a CGI young Tony Stark. He kind of looked all shiny, so it, it kind of meant <laughs> that uncanny, that the uncanny valley effect, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I also had a, I was just kind of confused about Spider Man for a second, just because I, I, I'm not sure where the strength comes from. Like, it's cool that he has it, but like, is it from a suit? Because because everything so because like the suit's supposed to be like the webs yeah those are canisters and stuff yeah yeah but like does he also have powers because the suit just seems like a yeah well Spider Man plus the canisters that's one of the things that go back and forth in the movie in the in the comics well, I, I want to say it goes between spectacular and amazing Spider Man like I'm not positive on that don't quote me on that but sometimes Spider Man can shoot his own webs uh-huh. and sometimes he has to use web canisters. Uh-huh. Like depending on what what she university's in, uh. So a lot of times he what he what it is is when he got bit 
by the radioactive spider. He got super strength. He got the wall crawling. He got the the agility and the the spidey sense. Mm -hmm. And he in one universe he can shoot webs. In the other universe he learned the formula to make webs. Mm -hmm. And being a super genius, he's able to make the web. And then as like again as a super genius, he he was able to upgrade the web to make it mm -hmm. even more more and more powerful. Um, I, I want to ask questions without giving too much. You said you had questions about the movie. There's certain parts that confused you. Well, it was just that part. That, oh, okay, that, just that part. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it was just it was just like how it could because it looked like it was just like mechanical stuff that yeah. he was using, but how did he have the uh, the super strength when when like even in even before Tony made the suit for him? Oh, so they do have they had they have the, they have the Iron Spider suit in the movie? No, no, it's not Iron Spider. It's the, that that suit that you see in the trailer. Yeah. That's the uh, suit that he makes for him. Oh, that's Before, gay. Uh, I'm spoiling shit. Right no, that's now, okay. But, that's uh, okay. That's that's okay. Uh, but uh, that's not a huge spoiler because like in the Civil suit, War, the suit that Spider-Man has before is like similar to like in uh the the original Spider-Man. It's the, a suspendex. Yeah. Yeah, just a spandex that uh Tobey Maguire had like when he was wrestling or some yeah. shit or when his uncle died. Yeah. So it was like that, and it had like goggles. Oh, so he. Oh, okay. So the actual Spidey suit, the one that he's wearing, is the one that Tony Stark made for. Yeah. That's weird. Because in the se in the comic series, Spider Man had been Spider Man for a while. He yeah. like in like in all the other in all the movies so far. In, yeah. In, in so one more, thing, he had only been Spider Man for like six months. Oh, that's gay. And this one's it's already adult Spider Man. Instead of the actual comic, the original Civil War, Spider Man's already been adult Spider Man. Uh -huh. So he's been Spider Man since he was fourteen, something like that, uh -huh. so, or sixteen. So he's been Spider Man for a couple, for at least a decade at this point in the in the series, and. He had his own suit, but it was a suit he made, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, just like in the movies, all the other movies, is like, he started off with that, with the ski mask and whatever, yeah. and then he moved on to the suit that he makes. Yeah. And then, in the comics, Civil War makes, uh, Tony Stark makes him the Iron Spider suit, which is that red with the gold spider on the chest. Yeah. He's got the legs. And the whole thing is, is Tony's like, okay, well, you're out there fighting people in spandex, let me give you some protection. Yeah. So he builds him, he makes him the Iron Spider suit, which... Uh, has has the like inside the goggles has the it's not it's not Jarvis but it has the whole HUD display and everything okay. and then like the spider legs have cameras on the end of them so you can like look around and shit as well as they they work with helping them move around and they're not really meant for combat but they can be used for light combat and shit. Uh -huh. um, the other thing about the suit I don't know if this suit can do it because it was the, the Spider Man had to take that suit off. No. Okay, because the other one, like, it was, like, it was, like, I don't want to say it was, like, nano machines, but it was, like, he could, like, whatever, he, it was called, almost like the Venom suit, where whatever he thinks, that's what the suit looks like. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. so, like, okay, when he wants to go street clothes, he just, and the suit goes into street clothes. When he huh. wants to be Iron Spider, if he wants it to look like his old Spider-Man suit, it's, you know what nah, I mean? Uh, they never showed, like, uh, that kind of dynamic with the suit. Oh, okay, they just kind of. They, he, he was just, like. When you first see him, he's Peter Parker mm. in his in his house, and Tony Stark is there. Okay. And then, uh, uh, and then you just go, and then once they're at the airport, then he's in a suit and everything. Oh, that's kind of anyway. yeah. Still really good. I'm not taking anything away from it. That's that bothers me just because, like I said, like in the series, Spider-Man had been, and I get it, they're bringing back the young Spider-Man, but so I wonder how they're gonna do it in the movie then. Because the movie, yeah. Because uh, I wonder, are, are they gonna have? Are they gonna have Uncle Ben die again? Are they gonna have the whole thing? Is he gonna? Yeah. And it's not gonna be. It, it's not gonna be homecoming like high school homecoming. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like, uh, do, does does college have homecomings? I don't think college has homecomings. Why? Because he, he's like eighteen. He's going into college. Ah, okay, okay. And. Uh, Whatever, but I, I honestly, I never really thought of it as the dance homecoming. I, I, I always thought it was like, he's coming back, coming back to, to Marvel. To Marvel Universe, yeah, that's and I, I think that's what homecoming means, but there's also a homecoming uh, uh, series. Michael I, Michael just made that joke about, uh -huh. uh, it'd be, oh, they're going to be at the homecoming dance when this happens. That was just Michael. Oh, he said that? Yeah. He said that. A lot no, of a lot of people were saying that. Oh, okay. But no, there there is a homecoming, uh, let me see. A lot of people think that they're gonna be in fucking high school and he's some Doctor Octopus comes in. Yeah, exactly. 
Let me see here. Let me see if I can find it. Oops. I wonder if that's picking up on the mic. What, the typing? No, the uh, whistling. Uh, let me see here. Spider-Man Homecoming. Because the storyline, if, if I remember correctly, it's something, it has, I know it has something to do with Tony Stark. I want to say Captain America plays a huge part about it as well. Um, it's been a while since I read it, and I don't. I, I want to say I don't. May, I might not have read the entire the entire story, but so let's see here. Homecoming. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's not a school age Spider Man story. Got that, and there's some booty ads. Mm. Have you noticed that most, most, and no matter what website you go on at nowadays, every at the very uh, site, uh, every at the bottom, yeah, it's like eleven things from around the internet. Yeah. Titties, he's like, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's even just like a dick flopping around in yeah. the fucking corner. Like, what the fuck is going on? Porn stars hate this guy. I'm like, I'm not even on a porn site. What the fuck? I'm on fucking Nickelodeon. <laughs> dot com. God damn. <laughs> So it takes place after the Secret Wars. It's a black suit fighting uh, series. So I'm thinking of a different one, maybe. Uh, it's probably not going to be like that comic, though. No, no. It, it, it sounds like it's probably not going to have anything to do with the comic. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how it takes place. Now, but see, now that, now that Spider-Man's been in Civil War... Yeah. And this is going to take place after Civil War. I'm curious to see how they're going to give him what they're going to do because they they obviously they didn't reveal his identity like in so like in the uh... oh they didn't do anything but no okay so they might be a, but no no uh, in this you didn't when they register they don't reveal their identity they just register with the government or with the United Nations okay and then the United Nations like deploys them yeah to go. They no, so, so they they want higher because in in the Civil War in the, in the comic it was you registered with the U S. Mm-hmm. If you were U S. because it was the, it was the U S. that did it. In yeah. the comic books, what happens is, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the comic book version of it real quick, and then you can tell me if any any of any of this is in the comics, uh, which I doubt I doubt the intro is. What happens is there's this uh, a reality show following around a bunch mm-hmm. of teen uh, superheroes. Yeah. And they're they're a bunch really just a bunch of nobodies, but what they're doing is they're 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 hunting down uh, criminals. And they fi- they find a group of runaway uh, superheroes or villains that are kind of just hanging hanging out in this place. So they just rush in and attack them, and they're they're whooping their asses. And then there's one guy Nitro runs off, and they chase him down and it turns into this big fight outside of a uh, outside of a school. Yeah. And. So Nitro, with his powers, he makes himself explode. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't sound like a good power. Yeah. <laughs> so if I, I have a great superpower, but I can only use it once. <laughs> Wait, he himself explodes? Yeah, he himself explodes. He doesn't survive the explosion? <laughs> well, no, I guess normally he does. But what happens is he explodes, or he causes explosions. So what happens is he causes this fucking huge explosion that destroys the school, destroys this whole city. Mm-hmm. Kills a mutant that he was fighting, and a couple of other other uh, superheroes that he was fighting, and supposedly he died in the blast too. Yeah. So because of this, they take it as a terrorist thing, and now everyone's like, oh well, it was like 194 kids died, and that was a big thing. It's like 194 yeah. kids died. It was kids, a whole school full of kids. So now the now the, the world's like all frustrated at superheroes. So the U.S. decides, okay, we're gonna start the U.S. Uh, superhero Registration Act. So all the super tra- superheroes have to register their name, uh, or who it's like their who they are, their su- their their it's their their real name, their super identity, their superhero identity, and their powers. Right. And then from there they're like, okay, well, you know, if we need you, we can call up call call upon you, and then if not, then and th- their whole thing was like, well, there's corruption all over the government. Like there's super villains that are working in the government right fucking now, yeah. and you guys don't know. <laughs> like, like now I'm gonna supposed to give you guys my name so this guy can find out that I live at home with my my aunt and my you know yeah because uh, in the movie uh, on the in the comic Spider-Man's already married to Mary Jane at this time too 
Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like, so that, that that's what starts it. And, and, and then what happens is, is like you have until midnight at this date to register. If not, you're considered a, a criminal and you're on you're considered on the run. And so all the superheroes that have registered by this time have to go hunt the rogue superheroes now. Yeah. And so that's that's how the Civil War starts. And so do they have... Is that... Uh, uh, yes and no. Uh, it's not Spider-Man. It's just like it's just like the people who don't so like Captain America and then who don't sign up. Mm-hmm. They they like go they go a wall or whatever. Yeah. And they come up and then uh, and then they pop up again in like fucking Africa or somewhere. And that's where like Black Panther. Yeah, is. in Wakanda. Yeah. And then yada 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 stuff happens and then they're, then they're like clash and then they have to clash because they're because now they found them. Yeah. And they're on the run. So they're trying to take them into custody, and that's where the big fight scene comes in. Okay, uh, uh, Hulk's in the movie, right? No. He's not in the movie? No. I thought he was. Hulk disappeared after uh, Age of Ultron, remember? He oh, yeah, space. yeah, okay. Thor's not in the movie either. Yeah, I know Thor wasn't going to be in the movie. In the comic series, I want to say Thor's dead during the during the Civil War. Really? Yeah. Um, so I didn't expect him to be in the movie. In the Civil War, in the comics, uh, they're, they know Bruce Banner's not going to register... And they're like, okay, well, we can't, we can't fuck with Hulk. So with the, before, yeah. before all this shit goes down, we're gonna tell Hulk. Like, this is literally what they do. What? And it, this actually starts the Planet Hulk, Planet Hulk series. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. this, they literally like, okay, well, Hulk, we have a mission that only you can deal with. We need the Hulk to go. So they send, they send them off into space. They literally just put him in a ship and launch him into space. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Problem solved, guys. Yeah. Problem like, okay, Hulk God. <laughs> Up. Yeah, so that that shit, I was like, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> um, so you would highly recommend anyone to go out and check it. Yeah. Nice. Even if you don't like Superman, scary movies. All right. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna bully everyone into watching it. Just go fucking watch it. If you don't watch it, you're not allowed to listen to the show anymore. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I found the story recently and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, Witcher Three, the, de- the developer for Witcher Three, the project CD Red, or CD Project or whatever. Uh, CD Project Red. Yeah, C- is it yeah is it CD Project Red or Project CD Red? CD Project Red. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're talking about how they're working. They they want to work on their uh, games, kind of like what Rockstar does. Uh-huh. They're not going to release a game every year. They might not release a game every two years. They're going to mm-hmm. release a game. Like every four or five years. Yeah. I think they say three every three to four years, but it's, you know, they want to, you know. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, like, the way. Witcher, Witcher 3, I could play that right now. Yeah, literally. I still have, an, uh, and still have, I still have, like, millions of things to do. They're working on a game right now called Project Cyberpunk uh, 2077, and it's going to be far bigger than The Witcher. Expected to launch in 2017. But it's a new type of video game format, previously unexplored by unexplored by the studio. They haven't really said anything other than that about it. Mm-hmm. But if it's by CD Projekt Red, I'm probably gonna check it out. I don't know what other games they've done though. Have they done the previous? They, uh, they, I think they just did the Witcher, the whole Witcher series. They did the Witcher series. Okay. Yeah. They did an amazing job with the Witcher three. I was like, they did such a good job that it made me, like, literally, I started reading the books because I wanted to know more have about you, this. Have you finished the game? I have not finished the game. I'm about three yeah, quarters of the way. That lasts, like, a couple of missions are awesome. And then I heard, I heard the fucking DLC is fucking epic, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm still... Has this, has the second DLC come out yet? Yeah, it's already come it out. Has? Yeah, it just That's came like, out, I think. I gotta get on that thing. Yeah, it's uh, a wine and... Blood and wine or some shit like that? Yeah, something like that. I know it's something that has something to do with wine. <laughs> I know there's wine. There's wine. There's drinking involved. I heard there's wine. That's why it's bigger. Uh, I, I looked up this really quick story. Uh, Doom hasn't come out yet, right? The new Doom? Uh, no. There was a beta a couple of days, a couple weeks ago. I just, I, I just recently saw the story. Uh, it's software put out. Uh-huh. I guess it's an Easter egg kind of, but like they, 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 they just put out one little bit of it. Uh-huh. Is in every mission of the current Doom game. You're gonna find bits and pieces of the original Doom. So what's gonna happen is like there's an area where you're gonna find these levers, uh-huh. and if you find the lever and you pull it, it's gonna open a door somewhere else in the level. 
and as you're walking around, you're like it's usually going to be close by. So you're going to pull the lever, you're going to hear a door open, and then you got to find where that door opened. And as you walk into that door, all of a sudden all the, te- the textures, like in, just in that room, you're like, you'll look into that room and all the textures will be like the old school PC version of oh. Doom. And when you Ooh, walk in, you're going to be playing that first, the part, part of that first mission. So it's going to be weird. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw a video of it, and it, it actually, it doesn't throw it off as much as you think. The enemies are still high res, and everything else is, but the, it's going to be, the, it's the original pickups. The whole, like, map turns into, like, this. Well, just that section of it. Just and then, the hallway. Those yeah. Those little hallways will just be good. Yeah, exactly, with the flat walls where, like, yeah. like the wall was literally paper thin. Do you remember that from those games? Like it was like there's a wall here, but when you walk around the side of it, like if you looked at the wall this way, it was it wasn't there anymore because. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they're gonna be bit. Those are gonna be hidden throughout the game, and it's not gonna be the whole level. It's just gonna be a bit of that level. But the thing is, is okay if you want to play the whole level. Once you've unlocked it, mm-hmm. you can go through the menu and play the full level. Okay. Which is kind of cool. Um, so I, I I I don't know. They haven't said if their whole game's in there, but yeah. The whole like a lot, a lot is gonna be in there. So every every Doom stage, <sighs> excuse me, is gonna have a section of the original game. So I mean, if every level is, I'm sure the whole game is in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's pretty cool. Uh, Mass Effect is opening a theme park attraction. It's gonna be opening out here in California. I didn't know we had a Great America. In California. What's a Great America? It's a amusement park. They have them all over the U.S., but it's, called, it's just called Great America. Okay. Kind of like it's kind of like Knott's Berry Farm, or uh, Six Flags. Okay. But I guess we have one in Santa Clara, and they're going to be opening a Mass Effect New Earth 4D. It's going to be a 4D experience set around the same time as Mass Effect 3. You get to hang out on the Normandy. Uh, you don't get to see Commander Shepard in the game at all, which I guess makes sense because. Yeah. Depending on who's playing the game, Commander Shepard could be I mean, male or female. Wait, it's a, what, what is this, a 3D? A 4D. 4D? Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a theme park, right? Yeah. In hey, Great America. Huh? So, like, do you just go around fucking bitches? That's what I think. Because isn't that what the whole game is? I think so. That's what I heard. That's all I've heard about. Anytime anyone's ever talked about Mass Effect 3 to me, it's like, yeah, you go around and just fuck bitches. You fuck alien bitches. <laughs> Not only anything. You can you fuck dudes if you wanted to. <laughs> Can't you do that in the... No, not The Witcher. What's the other game? Uh, Dragon Age. I think you can fuck dudes in that too. Yeah, because yeah, there was like... There was one scene, like, someone was showing me, like, a video of, like, how same-sex uh, uh, relationships work in that game. Because I guess you can form relationships with people in that game. Right. And, like, there's this big, bold, demon-looking dude. And, like, apparently, you're, like, the way they set the story up is, like, character was fucking that character. Uh-huh. So, like, they're laying in bed, and, like, the, the main character is just this regular human, like, small, and this big-ass bull demon's all laying behind him, spooning him and cuddling him with all this shit. And it just looks weird because it's, like, this big-ass fucking demon. <laughs> That's funny. Like, part, I think he's, like, part dragon or some shit like that. <laughs> but, yeah, so there's going to be a Mass Effect ride coming out. Which I thought was pretty cool. Um, Nintendo is still working on their amusement park. They're, I guess they're working with Universal Studios. I don't know if it's going to be a Nintendo theme park, a full-on theme park, oh, or just going to be like a section. A section at Universal Studios. All rumors point to it being a full-on Nintendo World, though. That'd be cool, though. That'd be fucking awesome. I would definitely go there. Oh, it's gonna be a Mario. And then uh, you and have like little Pokemon running around. Do, have you had a chance to go to the... You haven't been to Universal Studios recently, have you? No. Dude, I want to go check out the fucking Harry Potter world. I heard that shit's fucking awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I want to go check that shit out. I want to drink some butterbeer. <laughs> I heard it tastes like... just like It's like really sweet cream soda. Yeah. It's like extra syrupy cream soda. Um, have you... Oh, uh, you haven't seen the second season of... Have you haven't seen any of the Daredevil series? I've seen the first season. Okay, you haven't seen the second season. Yeah, yet. I don't have Netflix, so... Okay. Anymore. Surprising, uh, surprising no one. <laughs> Netflix decides they're going to do a Punisher series as well. Yeah. Like, that's no surprise to anyone. I mean, so the Punisher was so so popular in the in the Daredevil series. They, they, dude does a fucking great job as fucking the Punisher. Mm-hmm. I, 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 and I will be the first to admit that I had my reservations about John Bernthal playing really? the Punisher. Why? I just, I don't know. I didn't think he... Because I've always seen the Punisher as... Frank Castle's this big-ass fucking ex-military dude that's 
You know what I mean? And to, to me, like, the, the Punisher should just be intimidating when you look at him. That's yeah. how it was thought. You know what I mean? And to me, John Bernthal didn't have that Frank Castle look. Uh-huh. Like, fucking, uh, I don't even think, what's his nuts? Uh, um, oh, God, the guy that played the Punisher in the first movie. Can't remember his name right now. But he's also on Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. He's one of the vegan police. Um, I don't know. Can't remember his name right now. But um, he wasn't even, like, to me, he wasn't, like, he was a, a big dude. But, like, I think dude, so someone like fucking Vinny, not, yeah, Vinny Jones? I have no idea. You haven't seen Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Bears? No. God damn it. At least I've seen Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, like, he needs to be, have you seen the, you've seen the second Punisher, right? The Warzone? The movie? Which may not be the greatest movie, but the fucking, the dude that played him, uh-huh. like, he had the look of Frank Castle. Like, he was this big fucking, just, like, Frankenstein fucking, just, like, he just looks like, like, he could just walk in and take a million bullets and fucking still fuck everybody He's up. Still, still, yeah. Still Whereas John Bernthal, he looks like you take one shot and he's done, you know? But the way he played the character, he played so well. And uh, uh, there, there was a scene. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. But there's a scene when they're talking about uh, uh, how it's after like Daredevil, him and Daredevil have some interactions, and they're both in, injured, and they're kind of just sitting there talking to each other. And uh, the Punisher's pretty much telling his story, you right. know, how everything started, and the way he describes it, and it's like I, I cried, man. Like it was just like, <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> Like, like the, one of the lines he says is uh, he's holding his daughter, and there's meat spilling out of where her face used to be. Like that's why he says it. There's meat spilling out of the where her face used to be. And it's just, yeah, well, like it's just like fuck, man. It's brutal. And uh, and then Sega announced this. This was pretty. Th- this kind of gave me a semi. I'm kind of I'm excited about this one. Shinobi movie. Shinobi movie. Uh, Shinobi was. There was, okay, on the NES, there was Ninja Gaiden. Is it a Naruto movie? It sounds like it's pretty much going to be a Naruto movie. But Shinobi was, like, there was uh, there was Ninja Gaiden and there was Shinobi. Those were the two competing titles. Yeah. yeah. And then Shino- uh, in, in, re- in, in recent, uh, like, because they, uh, they re- redid Ninja Gaiden for the PlayStation and Xbox. But actually, I think it was an Xbox exclusive, and then they redid it for the PlayStation. Which, but it was a fucking amazing game. Yeah. Everyone loved Ninja Gaiden. They tried to reboot Shinobi, and it was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared. <laughs> okay. But the thing about the thing about it is, the producers are, are the same people that produced Scott Pilgrim. Okay. So I think they have. You can obviously tell that the people that made Scott Pilgrim had a love of video games, and I think, especially old school so they video could games. Probably make really do so I think they could do a good stuff. job of an old. They take an old school movie, a video game, and make a good movie out of it. Um, oh, they had one on the 3DS in 2011. It was a, a Shinobi release. Oh, okay, and then uh, let's continue on with video game movies. Uh, remember we were talking about the rumors about Daisy Ridley being... Uh, Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Is well, that true? No, no. It's, we were all off. Alicia Vikander? Vikander. Vikander? I think uh, I remember seeing her one time. And I had pictures of her. But apparently they didn't say. Uh, she she definitely has a look. Let's see here. There she is. I think she has a look of young Laura Croft of, of, of the look they're going for now. She kind of she does have that young naive. Um, yeah. Oh, Daisy Ridley had the had the look though. She just didn't have the figure for her. Yeah, I think. I think actually, as far as a face, the her face goes. I think Disney Daisy Ridley probably I, fit it more. I think I, I agree with that. But I think this girl go has a more of the overall look. More yeah. Like, yeah, maybe. Like she has that look where she kind of. She looks young and innocent, but she can still kind of be sexy. I don't know. She's not really my type, but yeah, I think she'll fit the Laura Croft role. And I think she's an Academy Award winning uh, uh, actress as well. 
Or yeah, her name sounds very familiar. So I just can't put a. I can't remember like what movies or whatever she's been. She won an Oscar for her performance as a portrait artist in *The Danish Girl*. So she recently won an Oscar. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's why it sounds familiar. Yeah, her the Oscars or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember the last episode we talked about uh, them possibly streaming uh, Hall H performance from Comic Con. Uh huh. This is unrelated to that, but this is a big one. Uh, this is a big story, and it's a big thing that might lose out people wanting to stream that shit. Is 20th Century Fox has pulled out of Hall H presentations over security concerns. Um, everyone was expecting to have them promote Assassin's Creed there. Mm-hmm. Especially in do do a uh, you know cause that's where all the big footage comes out all H you know that's where all the big oh we're gonna show you for the first time ever here's the Assassin's Creed movie trailer you know yeah and uh, but last year they did that and that's what they did with the X Men Apocalypse trailer remember mm-hmm. and that shit got leaked quick yeah I think it got leaked like the same fucking day <laughs> so Fox this year was like you know what fuck you guys. We're not doing it again. And so... They're not doing that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, There's also rumors that Disney might be pulling out of Hall H as well. Which would be fucking a huge blow to Comic Con. Yeah, because then that would... That that would mean like... No Marvel movies or Star Wars would be there. Exactly. So that's... Literally all people go. So there's, all there's gonna be is like Game of Thrones. Yeah, Disney like might skip. There's gonna be TV shows like the big movies. There's not gonna be that many. Yeah. Except for like shit that like people don't really care about too much. I'm trying to think. There's, there'll probably be there, there'll probably be it'd be like uh yeah Game of Thrones. There would be fucking Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> four. Uh, I know I know Kevin Smith always has a Hall H. Uh, presentation he does every year. He does a Q&A every year. And he's always the very, very last thing in Hall H. What would you think uh, What would you think Bill and Ted Bill and Ted would be called now? Bill and Ted 3? Because back then, what was it? It, it was, was Bogus uh, Adventure and then Excellent was, Adventure. Yeah, Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. And Bogus Journey, yeah. So uh, like, would, would he... Shit, I don't even know. I couldn't even think because they, they, no one uses Bodacious. that label. Bodacious! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bodacious middle age. <laughs> Bill and Ted's midlife crisis. That's what I would have. Bill and Ted's lit. <laughs> People use lit yeah. all the time. Bill and Ted get crunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You know they're still trying to make that movie, right? Yeah. They're still, yeah, they're trying, still, to make they're still it. trying to get that shit greenlighted. No one wants to greenlight it though. Fucking uh, 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 Keanu Reeves is like, I'll fucking do it. Yeah. Alex Winter's like, I'm not doing anything yeah. else. I'll do it. I'm so, I, <laughs> I want to see it just because I want to see an older Keanu Reeves <laughs> just do the go whole... back into the fucking... <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love fucking... to see that shit. That surfer dude type of... <laughs> yeah. I am an FBI... Wait, no, that's wrong movie. <laughs> Have you ever seen Point Break? The original Point Break? Uh, not in a while, but yeah. No, that, that, that's my favorite line from that. I am an FBI agent. <laughs> I never said, did you see the new one? I've seen bits and pieces of the new one. It sucks. Yeah. I like the only, I, I, I technically I watched the whole movie, uh-huh. but the way I, the reason I only say I say I only saw bits and pieces of it was because I was nodding off or stopped You're paying. I just stopped paying attention. Yeah. Like I would go on my phone just because like that movie just sucked. Like it was horrible. <laughs> The, the, all, the original one was dope, though. Even even with that line. <laughs> Keanu Reeves trying to sound serious. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I got I got this about Margot Robbie. You know, everyone's talking shit about the, the Harley Quinn suit, or the costumes that she's wearing in this What, movie. the fucking t-shirt? And, in booty shorts? Booty shirt? Yeah, everyone's talking shit on it. Uh... They're talking about how uh, they actually went through. She, this is what she says. Uh, denim overalls wouldn't be appropriate for the character. Uh, Harley Quinn isn't wearing hot pants because she wanted the guys to look at her ass, but rather because they're sparkly and fun. This is her. Mm-hmm. 
Which I think is kind of true because Harley Quinn always wore like she wore booty shorts in the comics, but it's like she does it because they're booty shorts and spandex. Yeah, and it's all the same thing. Yeah, it's very, it's all very tight fucking clothing. Yeah, it's always been. But uh, so she, so she's saying, uh, uh, she's saying what it is is that because oh the developers are saying that they tried to do. They tried the court jester costume. They tried a corset and skirt. They tried leather pants. They tried every co- they they tried most of the costumes that she's known for. Like they tried the Arkham Knight stuff. They tried the actual comic book stuff, yeah. and they just all. Well, I feel like, I feel like all the stuff that they I feel like all the DC movies are going towards uh, what's it called Injustice. Yeah, it really she, does. she looks like Injustice. The Injustice Harley Quinn. She really does. Yeah. The only thing she's well, the corset is, is, is I guess what they were going were talking about in because uh-huh. Injustice she's wearing that weird corset thing, yeah. but she but what she's wearing in this one she actually looks like her alternate costume. All she's missing is the, the leather jacket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but the the way what what what's her name? What uh, uh Margot Robbie's saying is that she's actually like the the outfit that they picked for her. It's kind of like that's what they uh, that's what Harley Quinn would pick. She kind of just. Like it's 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 fun and it's random and kind of you know it just fits the character. I agree. I kind of agree. Yeah. I think it does fit the character. Uh, um, I like it. I like I like the way it looks. And it says and you know, maybe they'll go with the court gesture in one of the po- and then one of the sequels. So I mean they're, 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 I I think they'll end up going back. I do that work. I heard the most blasphemous thing ever. What? When I just because I saw this. Someone said that uh, Batman vs. Superman was better than uh, Civil War. What the fuck? I haven't even seen I, it. I, I, I didn't even see the movie at that <laughs> point. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. That's, uh, unless the movie is literally just Captain America taking a shit fart. Yeah, but now that I have hours. seen the movie, I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought you were done before. This is funny, though. The director of, uh, of Captain America, the Marvel, the Civil War... Says the only reason that Mar- uh, 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 Marvel made Civil War uh-huh. was because DC announced Batman vs Superman. Really? Yeah. DC announced we're doing Batman vs Superman, so Marvel was like, "Fuck, we better do Civil War then," because like they're doing okay. We're we're doing a superhero versus superhero. Uh-huh. Let's do our whole fucking universe versus our whole universe. <laughs> <laughs> we have to one up them. That's what they literally said. Yeah, like, and they pulled it off even better than they could do like fucking two superheroes fighting. No, they just, had like six versus six. That's awesome. And everyone got great, great screen time, and like nothing felt like, like no yeah. one felt like they were cut off. Yeah. With their screen. That's time. one thing that the Marvel movies have been amazing at is like even with fucking. Uh, Maybe um, Captain America didn't get as much time as he should have for his own for movie, his own but, movie. <laughs> but still he had enough. But that, that's one thing Marvel's been amazing at. Like even with the original uh, Avengers movie, and and, and even with. Uh, uh, Avengers 2 is they've been really great at making sure each character gets the right um, just the right amount of screen time like yeah maybe this character could have used a little bit more screen time but like you got to see everyone like you got a good taste of everything it's like going to a buffet and you got you like okay I got this I got this I got this okay you know I got I got <clears throat> oh, excuse me a good taste of everything mm-hmm. But I, I just thought it was funny that the whole reason that the that, that Civil War uh, uh, exists is because Batman versus Superman exists, and that Marvel just shit all in fucking DC's mouth yet again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like all in their mouths. Yeah. Uh, I, I just got this. I got this one last story. So a Harry Potter villain from the movies is now an MMA fighter. Who? Gregory Who? Goyle. Who? Who the fuck is that? Draco Malfoy? No, one of Draco's. Um, oh, that motherfucker. Yeah, remember that big, the tall one that was always behind Draco? Yeah, the fucking fat ass one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now he's an MMA fan. He kind of looks like he look kind of looks like Chuck Didge. doesn't no. he? <laughs> That's a stretch. I, I, I think it's it's the the beard and the ears. So yeah, so that's what it looks like now. This is what it looked like in. Uh, this was in Order of the Phoenix. No, that, the, that's the uh, that's one of the last ones. Deathly Hallows. Yeah, this is Deathly Deathly Hallows. Yeah, it slimmed out by then. I said like for like six a, movies straight. Yeah, the first six movies. He's a, he a pudgy little, ass. <laughs> pudgy little fucking prick. But yeah, so he, he he's he's talking. He's going professional MMA. He's he's not giving up acting, 
Okay. But he says that MMA is more uh, up his alley. No, it's more regular than acting. Acting is like, okay, I gotta go to an audition. May I might get a job. I might not. MMA, as long as he's training. How's it more regular? Job. You're training. You go to a fight. You get the living shit beat out of you. But it, and you but, just shake it off and get ready for the next fight. But you know when your next fight's gonna be. With with acting, he's like, you don't know when your next acting job's gonna be. With MMA, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I got, I got a gig. But Maybe. You, even then, you don't even know if you have, you always have a fight. It's not like every two weeks you're gonna have a fight or something. Or once a year. Yeah, good point. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but that that's 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 his life plan now. So yeah, Gregory Goyle is not. Unless he's like a big MMA fighter, like fucking. All these name guys that we know. That's that that'd be really hard to do because MMA nowadays there's so many people like going Conor into Conor McGregor's it. and your Nick Diaz's. There's so many and people. your Ronda Rousey's. There's so many people going into MMA now that yeah. it's it's it you've got to be amazing to make a name for yourselves, and like unless you and really unless you get into the UFC, you're not gonna get into you're not gonna be a worldwide sensation. It's not like boxing where you can be a a big time boxer. And only yeah. be, ever work in fucking Europe, like that fucking like Amir Khan. Amir Khan's a huge star in yeah. fucking in, in England and Europe, yeah. but no one knows him over here really. Yeah, I've never even heard of him. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of his fights. Who was it? Canelo. Canelo. Yeah, like, he's fighting Canelo. Canelo. Well, you're Mexican. You have to know him. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, I'm just that's not true. I hate fucking. I hate watching boxing. I'm, I'm actually I'm actually uh, excited to see this one. Uh, Canelo's always been a good fighter mm-hmm. and, and he's got a, he, he's always been pretty fast but he's a hell of a like he's got mm-hmm. a lot of power whereas Amir Khan is a fast fucking fighter he's uh, the thing the only thing is is because is, I, I was been watching a lot of the uh, I was in the hospital for three days so I was watching a lot of TV mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was watching the, uh, on uh, HBO they kept replaying over and over and over the the uh, they call it the 24-7 series it's mm-hmm. all the shit leading up to it and so, like, everyone's, everyone, like, Amir Khan's coming up in weight to fight Canelo. But the thing about it is his walk-around weight is above what they normally weigh at, what they're fighting at. So right. he's he's losing weight. Normally, he has to cut a lot of weight to get to his normal fights. I think he normally fights at 130. Mm-hmm. Now they're fighting at 150. Uh-huh. But he normally walks around at, like, 160. Uh-huh. So he's not dropping as much weight. He says he normally feels better around that weight. So... Okay. I'm excited. I'm I'm curious to see how it's gonna go. Canelo's coming in pretty confident, and I think that might be a problem. That might be a mistake for him. Mm-hmm. But the whole thing is this is this is trying. I guess what what this fight supposed to lead to is possibly uh-huh. another remake a rematch with uh, Mayweather before Mayweather retires. Yeah, not fully retired yet. I'm not, well, he, he retired, but then he announced that oh, like for the right fight he might come back. Oh god. And so they're saying that this might be the right fight for him to come back to. We'll see. I don't know. I just never liked it. Every single time I watch boxing, the only the only time I've liked it is when I watched uh, Triple G. Okay. Well, that, that's another thing. Is he, they're saying that Canelo he, might be fighting Triple G. He actually goes. He like actually yeah. fucking fights. Yeah. Even. And it feels like every boxing match I watch now, they're just going for points, and it's annoying. Cause yeah, it's not about it's not about aggression. It's about points. Well, see, yeah, because it, it's not like MMA where MMA. You get you get points for aggression. In yeah. boxing, you don't. Yeah. You lose points. You for get points for fucking tapping him on a fucking. Yeah, for just throwing those little baby punches. Yeah. And those count as landing punches. Yeah. Which yeah, that sucks. And the other thing too is like with with MMA, the thing about it is like you really don't get any rest time in boxing. Like you could be the hardest hitting motherfucker in fucking boxing, and yeah. you could lose every match because everyone, all, all those fucking guys will just run away from you. Exactly. They fucking tap you on their on your fucking shoulder or something. Yeah. Whereas in, in, in MMA, like okay, like with, with with boxing, if you're and if you're getting your ass beat, you can clinch up, you can clinch the other fighter and kind of get a few because you can't throw punches in the clinch. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can kind of get catch your breath for a few seconds here and there. Whereas in MMA, if you try to clinch with somebody, they're going to grapple you and they're going to throw you on the floor and they're going to yeah. beat the shit out of you or they can punch the shit out of you while they're holding you. Yeah. And so it's one of those things. Um, I think on that note, let's go ahead and start to wrap this up. Uh, don't forget to check out our newest our newest show supporter, uh, Level Up Vapor at leveluppvapor.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, we buy were, some vapes. Buy some vapes. We weren't we weren't vaping this episode. No, they don't. They don't sell vapes. They sell juice. They sell juice. Yes. That's false advertising. <laughs> buy some juice. Awesome, fucking amazing flavors that are delicious. That are fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. 
For a good price. For a fucking amazing price. For a damn price. good price. Use coup- and you get a discount. Yes. Use coupon code TRPS. You get 20% off your order. You're off your entire order. Yeah. So that means if you buy like 50 juices for like 100 bucks, actual pricing may differ. Uh-huh. <laughs> you put in that yeah, TRPS you, code. You, yeah, you get it. That's just 80 bucks. That's just 80 bucks. That's good math for sinful folks there. <laughs> That's what you should do. Just go order a hundred dollars worth of shit, put in TRPS, get twenty bucks off your off your order, yeah. and there you go. Just impulse, impulse buying everything. 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 Uh, go to go to the website. Yeah. And then go to Ripped Apparel on our website. Yes. Go to the and the impulse real buy start. all three shirts exactly. every day. Every day. Go there every day. Impulse buy. But only if you click on them through our website. That's the only way we get credit for you buying their damn t-shirts. So. I know it's a little bit of extra work, but it's worth it. Because you go to the realpressstar.com, you click the Rip the Peril link, and they'll be like, oh shit, those motherfuckers sent these motherfuckers over here to buy some motherfucking shirts. Let's break them motherfuckers off with a check. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's give them a discount code. Yes. And then everybody wins. And then, yes. And once we get enough people going over there to buy t shirts, then you get a TRPS discount code, and then you'll get 20% off. I think it's only 10%. It'll probably only be like 10%. Yeah, but then you'll get 10% off those over there as well. See? It's win-win. And win. then, on top of that, there's also AmericanHeyday.com. And post by there, too. T-shirts, flasks, posters. You don't even have to like it. Just buy it. <laughs> right? They, they even do, I think they do framed pictures. Or they do them not framed. They do them on, a, on canvas. They do canvas blow-ups. They do everything over there. So go check them out. AmericanHeyday.com. On that note, game over. What are we talking about? No more questions.